you suffered in Taiwan? And how do you uh, articulate to, to many contributions in the world? And how, uh, of course, how my laboratory can help you and, and how can be this talk and this mm -hmm. contribution? Sure. So um, in Taiwan, uh, we have a strong preference of open formats. For example, all our government systems use the open document format uh, for exchange. Uh, and I think this is uh, very good because it levels the playing field. We're not saying that we don't welcome Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is a very good piece of software. But, but it opens open document and it saves as open document. It, it makes it compatible with other software and not you know, 99.1% compatible with other uh, software if you're, you're using Microsoft Word format. Uh, so with this, uh, I think the only requirement for us is for the, the API and for the state and low uh, file formats of any system that we procure uh, to be able to be opened up independently by other free software uh, tools. And I think satisfying this requirement is really very easy if you have a open API of any sort. Right, if it's JSON or CSV or anything, it's, it's trivial. And so any software that uh, satisfies this, what we call the open API uh, requirement, um, is um, automatically given um, like a better score uh, during the procurement process. We put it uh, next to the accessibility guidelines that enables blind people to see the websites. Uh, so we are saying machine is a kind of, kind of blind people and you have to make all sorts of different kind of machines to still be able to process the software. And so that is uh, the, the first part to your question. The second part, um, the how, how can a international friends help? Um, this is interesting because we just uh, are uh, deploying uh, Linux container-based technologies in our government cloud. So anything that can be run on premise in one of the container technologies uh, in Sandstorm or in Docker uh, can actually now be deployed with much ease, uh, easier than before into our government uh, infrastructure. And we handle, uh, especially with Sandstorm, we handle the authentication, authorization, shared notification, and, and everything that you expect out of a you know a enterprise software suite uh, like Google Apps, but it's free software and it's on premise. Uh, but of course, this doesn't mean that we only work with open and free software communities. For example, there's a software called Draw.io, which lets you draw uh, diagrams in real time and collaborate. And they agreed to let us use it uh, in on premise, still remaining proprietary. But, but at least the proprietary code is running our own hardware and, and using our own resources and sharing this free uh, uh, shell. So uh, I, I'm not partial to, to software licenses in my role as digital minister. I'm very partial as a software developer, but now I'm a digital <laughs> minister. I cannot be partial to, to software licenses. <laughs> but but, but I, I, what I can say is that if, if your software or the software that you contribute to uh, is compatible with one of the Linux container uh, deployment formats, then the procurement cycle will be very, very uh, swift because the, when it goes from purchasing to validation to deployment, there's no friction because you don't have to provide uh, on-site support to install the software. That has traditionally been the most difficult part of procuring anything outside of Taiwan or even outside of Taipei because people who want you know, to travel to like uh, 500 different counties and help them install the system <laughs> just isn't there uh, if, if we're trying to procure outside of Taiwan. But now, uh, with this kind of cloud deployment, this becomes possible. Is, is <coughs> our law in Taiwan that forces the government to use free software or something like that? Uh, yeah, that's a very valid question. No, our current law only talks about open format. Uh, and the data that it produces must be open data, meaning open license and open format, if it's uh, useful to the public. It's part of freedom of information law. But it says nothing about the license of the source code itself, just its input and output. Yeah. You don't need to, to make this information that needs to be open data, but the population. Uh, there is a something that obligates uh, you to to turn this information useful to, to population. Because in Brazil we have uh, a law, but 
the information is not readable, so mm -hmm. they, yeah. it's yeah. not as accessible to Right. Uh, I think accessibility is, is really, really important, uh, which, is, um, which is why we are Is it okay if we use here for interviews? Yes. Okay. okay. It's recording. Just use the legend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, yes. <laughs>